Okay, so I guess this is just like spring cleaning kind of stuff that you should like remember or think about or, you know, tips, I guess, or like a list of stuff that you could do for spring cleaning to really try to like make sure everything's clean. Also, if I forget some stuff or like didn't mention something, then you could put it in the comments or I could just have a pinned comment of stuff that I remembered after making this video and uploading it and whatever, all that stuff, so yeah, um, and I'll probably have like a link to whatever thing for any other stuff that could help with spring cleaning kind of thing, or just, you know, stuff that you should just remember doing once in a while, so yeah, anyways, I guess let's get into the videos. I mean, some of this stuff is also stuff that you should probably just do throughout the year anyways, too. So, yeah, anyways, let's get into it. Um, the first one is declutter slash organize. Um, you can, like, move stuff around and put things in different areas that, where they fit better. Um, also, you can, like, donate things and, like, you know, donate clothes, donate toys, donate, you know anything that you don't need anymore, anything that you don't use anymore, that kind of thing. Um, and then the next one is that you can vacuum and dust and sweep and whatever, stuff like that, so you can get rid of any, like, any hair, any pet hair, lint, dust bunnies, dust, whatever, like, get rid of all that sort of stuff, all, like, crumbs and everything, just get rid of all that, and, you know, try to, also, it's like, you know, if you have allergies, you can try to help that and get rid of, like, anything that'll hurt allergies more, so, you know, you can dust, you know, it's just, you could think of things that you don't usually dust. Like, I mean, obviously the obvious things of dusting would be like shelves and your desk and all that. But sometimes there's things that you might not really think of dusting. Like, I don't know, there's some stuff that might need dusting and you never really thought of it. Um, but yeah, like, there's like, you know, the top of window sills or whatever, the the top of the trims and everything around the door and the windows like you could try to dust that and see like is there any dust up there that I need to get or anything like that so yeah um anyways next one is wash your windows there's like the window glass cleaning kind of stuff and you can use that I'm pretty sure you, yeah you can use it on like any glass surface I think like there's the window cleaning stuff, but I think you can use it on any glass service, I think. So, you know, if if I'm wrong about that, then, you know, you can say in the comments if I'm wrong about that, but I'm pretty sure you can use it on any glass thing, not just windows. So, you know, I, I think you could use it on, like, a shower door that's made of glass or whatever, anything else that's kind of made of glass, I think, but, you know, wash your windows, and, you know, you can open them for fresh air and everything, just to try to air out your space and everything, because sometimes it gets stuffy, especially if you're dusting and cleaning and everything, like, you're gonna want to open the windows, especially if you're using, like, chemical stuff for, like, the windows and the bathroom and the kitchen and everything, like, you're gonna want to air out the area and uh, make it fresh air instead of just, you know, stuffy dust and everything flying around. So, you know, if you don't get that out, then it's not really going to help you clean. It's probably just going to make it worse if you don't get all that out the window. So, yeah, uh, next one is that you should go green. Always, not just springtime, you should always do this. You should always like recycle and reuse stuff and do all that. Try to use less plastic every year probably. Like if you go to a store or something, don't use plastic bags. You should always use the paper bags or like a cardboard box or something or you know, get those reusable bags. Like sometimes there's the reusable bags that um you it has a nice pattern or something on it and you can use those instead. Um, you can use different things instead of like plastic straws, like there's metal straws and everything, and 
you know, you can use metal straws instead of, like, plastic straws and stuff, and, you know, use paper cups instead of plastic cups, use glass cups, use whatever reusable water bottles and stuff. Don't just keep getting the stupid water bottles that you get from the whatever they're called. Just, like, get reusable stuff. Like, always, always, always use reusable stuff or paper or cardboard or something, because then it's dial degradable. <laughs> I can't speak right now. I can't say certain words completely right away, but you know, use stuff that'll break down easily instead of, you know, just reusing horrible things that won't break down so easily in, like, you know, on the earth and everything, because, you know, it's, it's bad for the earth to keep using plastic and stuff, so, you know, always recycle, always do that. It's not just springtime that you should do that, you should always be doing that kind of stuff, and don't use so much plastic and like people when they're like usually like vegans will be like oh you know, you shouldn't use leather stuff you shouldn't use real leather but like fake leather is far worse than real leather like real leather sure they had to kill the animal to do that but you can always you know get one second hand so it's still being used but also it's like, you know, the fake leather, it's like some plastic shit, so you probably, like, it's not gonna, you know, break down easily, so it's bad for the environment, it's bad for the earth. If you use real leather on clothes and furniture and stuff, then it'll break down easier and everything. Like, if you use natural things all the time instead of plastic, it's better for the environment, so make sure you use natural things instead of fake shit, you know, that kind of thing. Anyways, next one is wash your cabinets. Um, you know, you should wash your cabinets in your kitchen, in your bathroom. Um, you can go through them and, like, get rid of anything you don't need, and then you can also, like, take a washcloth and, like, clean the insides and the outsides and everything like that. Sometimes they get dusty and stuff like that, so you might want to clean it out. And sometimes there might be, like, crumbs in there or something in there. Like, I don't know, some 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 might even have, like, bugs living in there, depending on how bad it is. So, you know, make sure you clean those. Um, the next one is clean the fridge. You can do the inside and the outside. You should, like, wipe it down with a washcloth and whatever. And you should, like, get rid of any spoiled food, any, like, expired stuff, get rid of that. You can also go through the other cabinets and, like, you know, get rid of spoiled food that's in other places in the kitchen. So, yeah. Uh, next one is clean the oven. You can clean, you know, the inside and the outside. The inside, depending on how long it's been since you cleaned it, it might be really nasty. I feel like some people don't think about cleaning the oven, but really, you should probably clean it every once in a while, because also, if there's food stuck in the bottom, it could start a fire and, you know, be really bad. So you want to always be cleaning the oven once in a while. <laughs> Uh, next one is clean any bedding that you have, like, you know, pillow, comf comforter. I feel like people don't think about cleaning a pillow or a comf comforter because they're so big and, like, you know, they take up a lot of space in there, so I feel like people don't really think about cleaning those. But, like, I feel like, you know, if someone's going to think about, like, cleaning something that's on their, like, their bed or the couch, they're probably going to clean, like, a blanket or two and, like, nothing else. But you should really clean the other stuff, too, once in a while. And maybe if you want to, you could clean, like, any stuffed animals that you might have. And, yeah, just to make sure there's no bugs in there or anything. So, yeah. Uh, next one is clean the microwave. But also clean other utensils that you might have that are kind of like that. Um, sometimes, you know, I mean, with the microwave, sometimes stuff explodes and you might want to clean in there just to, you know, make sure, like, it doesn't burn or anything. Um, and then other stuff, like coffee machine and whatever other air fryer, whatever kind of things, like you know, toaster, all that, like, clean all of that. Toasters also could start a fire if there's, like, too many crumbs and stuff down there. And, you know, you don't want to 
be starting fires. So yeah, next one is organize the junk drawer. Um, I feel like a lot of people just throw stuff in like one or two drawers and then they're just like full of a bunch of shit and you might need to look in there to see if you should probably throw some stuff away or put things in different spaces and like make sure it's somewhat organized and not so all over the place and you know all messed up next one is wash your curtains i feel like people don't really think about washing like the curtains on their windows or the curtains on like showers and i mean obviously some showers have the glass doors and walls but some showers just have like a curtain on them and you might want to wash that every like so often like maybe I don't know, a couple times a year, or maybe a little bit more, depending. I think it just depends on, like, what material the curtain, the shower curtain is made of. Because, like, I don't know, like, if you have, like, a plastic one, I don't know if, you know, maybe it would probably be dirty, then, like, you might want to wash it. <laughs> but also, if you have a cloth one, like, it's made of, like, whatever cloth material, like, I don't know, cotton or something, then, like, you know, you might want to wash it every however long, because it might be kind of dirty. I feel like showers are pretty dirty, so you might want to wash that, but also curtains on the windows, I feel like, get dusty and stuff, so you might want to wash them, just so, especially if you have allergies and they have dust all over them, and you might want to wash them, and yeah. Anyways, next one is throw away any expired makeup or cosmetics, whatever you want to call them. And I actually have a, I guess, was it chapstick or whatever that I've had for forever, but I don't want to throw it away because it still smells the same as it did before. I, I'm not going to use it, obviously, because that would be kind of gross. I'd probably get sick if I used it now because I've had it forever. But, like, I've had it since I was a kid and it still smells the same and I want to keep it. <laughs> but, like, it's gross. You, but like the smell is nostalgic for me so I want to keep it but you know I, I'm not gonna put it on my mouth or anything because I'd probably get sick so you know anyways <laughs> next one is that you should clean your makeup brushes and any other kind of brushes that you have like hair brushes and brushes that you use on animals and stuff um, so, you know, clean your makeup brushes, and then clean, well, also there's, like, art brushes, like, you know, for painting and stuff, you might want to wash those, like, I feel like artists usually wash brushes every time they use them anyways, but, you know, if you haven't, then you still might want to wash them too, but, you know, makeup brushes, and I feel like maybe people might not think about washing makeup brushes or hair brushes and stuff, so... Yeah, you might want to wash those, so yeah, next one is clean any toys that you have, like, you know, especially if you do have kids and they're playing with, like, toys and stuff, you might want to wash them, like, you know, you could, like, push the drain down, put, throw a bunch of, like, plastic toys in, like, the tub and, you know, just let them soak or something for a while, for, like, a couple hours or something and just, like, you know let them sit there for a little bit and, you know, wash them and, <laughs> yeah, so. Next one is kill any bugs or let them outside. Um, obviously, most bugs should probably just be let outside, but if it's an, in, like, if it's a type of bug that is dangerous for the environment or other animals or anything, then, like, obviously you can kill them like ticks and stuff, you're gonna want to get rid of those, but like you're gonna want to let out spiders or flies or whatever, like flies, you know, they're not really hurting anything, like they're good for like frogs and stuff to eat and birds to eat, um, and they're good for spiders to eat, and spiders will just eat pretty much any other bug. Mosquitoes are, you know, you know, kill them if you want, but also mosquitoes feed a bunch of other animals, so I don't know. <laughs> I guess it's just like mosquitoes are kind of one of those things where it's kind of like, it doesn't really matter if you kill them or not, I guess. Um, but also, there's also, um, if you have gnats, 
in like a room or near like food or trash or anything there's actually stuff that you can do you can use these little like sticky trap things kind of like like i don't know glue trap type of things i'm pretty sure glue traps are specifically for like mice which is very cruel to do to mice but there's like these little sticky things that you can get you could probably find them on like amazon or something and they will have it where if the fly or the gnats or whatever the fruit flies or whatever if they land on those they will get stuck to it and die because they'll be stuck to it forever but also another thing that i found out that you can use on like gnats and stuff is if you have a bowl and you put soap and vinegar in it and they will want to go to the soap because it smells nice but the vinegar will also kill them and yeah <laughs> so i feel like the soap would kill them anyways but i feel like the vinegar just makes it go faster so something about that combination like i've, I've done it before a couple times and they really like to die in the soap vinegar thing <laughs> also you know i've done the little sticky trap things and they like sitting on those like you put a sticky trap there for like a couple days or something there you will see a shit ton of them just sitting on that like little stick trap thing and it's you know i don't remember i don't know exactly what those little sticky trap things are called but you could probably find them on, on amazon or someone in the comments could comment what the name of like i don't know brand or something that they've used before but yeah um yeah i think glue traps specifically is used for mice and it's really sad and kind of horrible like if you have a mice mouse problem then you should just catch them in like whatever thing and like let them outside in a field like take them out somewhere and just free them into a field don't be killing the mice or anything if they they, they go live in the field and they can make a house out there because you know usually i think mice live out in fields so you know you should let them go out free out somewhere um not be really be killing them even like mouse traps like you know the the stereotypical mouse traps that we all know they have the, like the wooden pellet thing or whatever the little wooden part and then that has the spring things and it like closes on them when they sit on it and it like snaps their neck and even that is kind of like you know it's fast and quick when it gets their neck but sometimes it gets them in the tail and then their tail falls off and it's just they're running around with no tail and it's kind of sad so what you should really do is catch them in like a little container type thing and let them out free so you know i just wanted to say that for this part because you know bugs animals whatever like you should probably most of the time let them outside <laughs> let them out somewhere where they're not going to bother anyone so yeah anyways next one and this isn't wanting to work next one is clean your washing machine and get rid of the fuzz in the dryer so you'd think like a washing machine would probably like oh it probably cleans itself whatever don't need to worry about it but you might be surprised if you look in there there might be some stuff in there that's not supposed to be there <laughs> you might want to wash it out um and you should really try to get the fuzz and lint out of the dryer i get like every time you run the dryer you check if there's any lint in the lint trap but there might still be some extra lint in that little like area where the tray goes so you, you should probably really clean that out because if you don't get rid of the lint and the fuzz in the dryer it can start a fire so make sure you do that also you can instead of using whatever for the dryer you could probably put stuff outside on a clothes hanger thing on like the string thing and let it air dry outside if you have that if you can do that just as a thing but also next one is disinfect your electronics um your phone is probably like the dirtiest thing ever like you take it everywhere you take it outside you take it into stores you take it to work you take it like in the bathroom you put it on the counters you put it on like bathroom counter kitchen counter 
on a chair, on the couch, or on on the ground outside, on the floor. Like, I, I don't know if I said the floor already, but, you know, you put it anywhere and everywhere. You put it in your pocket, you put it in a bag, you put it in your purse, you put it on your desk, whatever, all this stuff, and it's probably pretty gross, so you might want to take a disinfectant wipe to it. Also, other electronics, you could take a disinfectant wipe to, like, your mouse or your keyboard, your laptop, um, maybe not all over your laptop, but on the main parts that you touch all the time, like the keyboard and the mouse, or you can, like, if you have a touch screen, you can, like, disinfect that too. Um, also, if you have, like, a PlayStation or an Xbox or, you know, a PC tower, like a desktop type of thing, you might want to uh, get dust, any dust bunnies and stuff out of the fans and everything, and you can open it up. Make sure you turn it off first, you make sure it's completely off, and then you can uh, disinfect it, and, or not disinfect it, but like, you know, yeah, I mean, disinfect for other stuff, make sure it's off, but for cleaning out dust bunnies and stuff, you can make sure it's turned off then, too, because you don't want to get electrocuted. Um, Anyways, next one is organize any and clean any purses and bags. Um, I'm sure a lot of people probably just have a bunch of stuff in like this or that bag or purse and they should really uh, organize it and clean it. <laughs> like you might have some uh, stuff in the bottom of it that you don't know is there and you might gotta, you gotta clean that out and you gotta organize it and you don't know that there's any like crumbs or anything or whatever down there because you got you, you you need to clean it you got to organize it and whatever so yeah and you might not know certain things are in there like you might think like oh i lost this or that thing but it's actually just in the bottom of your bag or your purse and you know you should like look for it in there make sure it's not in there so yeah next one is clean your vacuum slash broom. I feel like this is another thing that a lot of people don't think of when cleaning stuff. Like, you know, you gotta get the dust bunnies and stuff out of there. Uh, for the vacuum, people just like, oh, I just dump it in the trash can and there you go. But I'm sure the walls inside the vacuum are also super dusty and gross. So you should probably clean that every once in a while too. Uh, next one is wash trash cans. This is another one where I feel like people don't really think of cleaning, but if you, if your trash cans are stinky, then you should probably at least take a, some water to it, at least. At least, you know, do that. If you have a small trash can, you could probably put it under the, the shower head or the tub whatever faucet and then you could just put a little bit of water in there move it around um and then like kitchen kitchen trash cans you could probably just do the same where you put the shower head over it and clean it off that way or like take a wet washcloth to it um outside the garbage cans that's kind of a different thing um maybe take a garden hose to it if you really want to you know, kind of clean those ones out, but at the same time, they're outside garbage cans, so it doesn't really matter as much, but I don't know. I guess if you want to clean the outside ones, then that's fine. That's up to you, but I don't know about that one. But yeah, next one is wipe down any outside furniture. You might want to take some a wet washcloth or damp washcloth. Some outside furniture is like metal, so it might rust. I mean, it'll probably do that anyways because of any rain or snow or anything, so, you know, taking a little bit of a washcloth to it, it will probably be fine and whatever, and, you know, just, or take a hose to it or something. Also, in the summer, there might be pollen flying around and it might make your your furniture out there like yellow so you might want to wash it then too <laughs> especially if you have allergies pollen allergies or anything cotton allergies whatever and then you might want to wipe it down or take a hose to it or something then too um next one is clean the shower slash bathtub uh you know I feel like this is kind of just one of those things like you you might get like mold in there or something in there that's kind of 
whatever there might be hair strands here and there that you might want to wipe out so you know and like you know sometimes the showers and the tubs like they'll get like those little water like it's it's like residue or whatever maybe not residue but it's like leftover water droplet marks and it's like the white spots i think it starts with a c i'm pretty sure um but you know it leaves behind the water will leave behind like whatever stuff and then you might need to wipe that off and get that out so there's that too um another thing is that cleaning your shoes i feel like people don't really think of this um usually sometimes your shoes might end up muddy or like just dusty dirty kind of thing especially if you have white on your shoes and then they just kind of turn a little bit brownish or something like that because you know when you're walking outside it's gonna happen um some shoes i think you, some shoes are okay if you just throw them in the washer like you know just by themselves and then the washer can do it i don't know if you can put them in the dryer but throwing them in the washer i think is fine for some shoes but other shoes might not really go so well in the washer so you might not want to put them in there but you could probably take like a washcloth to them and you know it'll work fine then uh next one is kind of similar to the bed bedding one is that you can wash your mattress because i feel like people don't think about washing their mattress but you can take like a vacuum cleaner to it at least obviously you can't throw it in the washing machine because that would be t t too much it's too big <laughs> usually mattresses are, wa are too big for washing machines and washing machines are too small for them so you know that's not gonna work but, you know, you could take a vacuum to it, get any lint or anything off of it, just because, you know, whatever. Uh, and the next one is clean under your furniture, your bed, your couch, your chairs, whatever, your, under your table, all that. And, you know, I feel like people don't really think about cleaning under their bed that much. Like, you might want to, you know go under there, see if there's anything there that you stuffed under like the bed or the couch or see if there's any dog or cat toys under there. Um, also, you might want a vacuum under there and then um, also sometimes people have those beds where there's drawers under there and you know I feel like people are like oh I don't need to clean down there because no one sees it anyways but i guarantee you there's so much dust and crumbs and like dust bunnies and everything down there that you should really vacuum under the drawers under the bed so you know don't forget that you don't want to ignore that um next one is clean out your closet i feel like a lot of people will just be like oh i don't need to clean my closet and like oh i don't need to vacuum or sweep in there but really you probably should because you know you ignore it then there's just gonna be a bunch of dust and everything in there you d don't ignore the closet you you want to clear it out and organize it and everything just to whatever and next one is clean the sinks and clean out drains also with the shower and bathtub one you want to clean out the drains too i didn't mention that before but you know i was kind of thinking i'll mention the drains when the sink sun comes up but yeah you might want to take some soapy water stuff to the sinks and then there's also those drain unclog things they're kind of like uh what what's it called they're they're like the the pipe cleaner type of things they're kind of similar like they're kind of like that i think they might be called that but um i know like people call pipe cleaners those things that you'd use in art class to make like whatever things like people would make roses with the pipe cleaner things but yeah i think it might be the same name for the pipe cleaner things for the like sink drains and stuff so yeah, but like I've used those before where you can stuff them down the drain and then you bring it back up and there's like a bunch of hair and nasty gunk stuff stuck to it and it's really gross. But, you know, at least your drain won't be clogged anymore. So, uh, you know, it, it serves its purpose, I guess. Um, next one is clean the dishwasher. I feel like people will just be like, oh, 
it cleans itself, but actually, you know, you might want to give it a little bit of a scrub here and there just to get rid of some, any gunk that's stuck there, because sometimes, like, soap or something will leave uh, whatever nastiness on a certain part here and there, so you might want to clean the dishwasher a little bit at least. But yeah, I feel like people don't think of cleaning dishwashers at all. Next one is clean the garbage disposal. Uh, sometimes it gets really gross in there and it starts to stink and you will want to wash it or do something for that. That's kind of similar to the drain ones for the sink thing, but yeah, like, you know, this is basically the same thing where you don't want to forget to clean that because it gets really nasty and gross and it starts to smell really bad, so, you know, don't forget that. <laughs> Next one is clean the bathroom fan. Now that is, you know, it gets really dusty and just gross up there, and so you're gonna want to take at least something to it. Like, the, you know, you might want to take like Q-tips or a rag to it just to get rid of all that dust in there. Next one is clean the sliding door stuff, like the tracks, the, the thing it slides in, also the window sills, like, you know, some people have, like, the sliding windows, and some people have the windows that just, like, open the whatever way, I don't remember, I don't know what that's called, it kind of just, uh, I don't know what's called, <laughs> it, it, it swings open kind of thing, like, almost like a door, but it's not exactly like a door, you gotta crank the thing open, and then it opens a little bit, but yeah, like, you can clean that area, like the windowsill and like the the track that the window's on, the actual window itself. Like you can clean the window trim thing that's like part of the windowsill, but you can also clean the actual window thing itself. <laughs> um, and then the sliding door thing, like, you know, that's... I feel like there's some nasty stuff in the windows and everything, so it's like you get these like black gunk in there, or it's like dark brown or black or whatever, and it's really gross looking, and it's like, it looks like this little blob monster, and it's actually really nasty. Anyways, next one, again, it doesn't want to work for me right now. Next one is clean your door and other thing outside things. I think this is another thing people don't really think of cleaning, like, their front door and, like, other doors and stuff. And people probably, I don't think people really think about cleaning, like, the outside lights and their doorbell, their door handle, all that stuff. Like, their door steps and everything, like... I feel like some people just, like, ignore it, but if you just take a hose to, like, your front doorstep and stuff, then, you know, or you sweep your front doorstep and get, like, leaves and stuff off, then, you know, that'll work, that, that'll be fine, you can get any spider webs or dust or pollen or anything out of there, and, yeah, anyways, next one is clean the gutters. This is one where it's, like, you know, you get a bunch of leaves stuck in there, and then it just makes it so the rain doesn't really go down there very well. So you really got to clean the gutters just so then it's easier for the rain to fall through and, you know, go down there. And then the last one I have on here is clean the grill. Like, you always want to clean the grill, especially if you're going to be cooking stuff. I think, I don't think I mentioned cleaning the stove when I said clean the oven. But yeah, that's a similar thing where it's like, make sure you clean your stuff that you clean that you make food with because you don't want to get sick you don't want nasty gunk and then you do, you get sick because that would that would suck that would be horrible so yeah anyways i guess that's it for this video that's all i have here uh that's all the stuff that i put in this list it ended up being a super long video <laughs> like you know it's over 30 minutes long now so you know Kind of a rip but i wanted to put a bunch of stuff in here just so you know i wouldn't miss anything and i wouldn't forget anything and i mean i could have separated it into like a co two parts or something but i kind of didn't really want to do that i kind of just wanted to make like one whole video of like spring cleaning like tips or like you know thing a list or whatever i don't know something like that just to 
you know, maybe give you some ideas of like, hey, clean this or that, or remember to clean this or that, like a list thing, you can write all this down and have just a list somewhere, so then, you know, next year, the year after that, you can just clean these things over again, and, you know, maybe you never really thought of cleaning this or that, and then you can clean it now, so... <laughs> Yeah, anyways, uh, again, some of these are, like, you know, you want to clean them all year round, not just for spring cleaning, but, yeah, I just wanted to put them in here just because why not? So, yeah, anyways, I guess that's it for this video, so, bye!